go get a straw. <laughs> It is 10 o'clock. I'll officially call the meeting for Thursday, June 26th of the Seneca County Board of Commissioners to order. I the pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lord, thank you again for this day. Thank you for the time to be here. Thank you for all that are gathered. We ask for your blessing on this meeting in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Roll call. Commissioner Stacy. Here. Commissioner Boyd. Here. Commissioner Wright. Here. Um, we have a motion to the signing of the journal and to approve the DVD recording of the previous board session from this previous Tuesday, June 24th. I'll make a motion. A second. And a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved? Any adjustments to a printed agenda? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to uh, review uh, the vacation accrual times. We have, I think, some issues that we need to discuss there. And then kind of a, just an update for my fellow commissioners uh, on the uh, underground tank okay. thing that we had uh, in our parking lot. In parking lot. Okay, parking lots is on here. Okay. Uh, Good. Just, just a piece of information, Habitat for Humanity want me to pass along. So it'll be new business? Wherever you want it. Wherever you want it. Okay. Just, just an invitation. Okay. All right. Stacy, you have anything? Mm -mm. Nicole? Mm -mm. All right. Let's begin with the old business. Parking lots is on here. There. What parking lots? We don't have any right now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I got stuck out there. Did you? <laughs> so. <laughs> go in that hole. Did you? <laughs> don't go in there. You need a ladder to get out. So our parking lots are progressing. It's got a big hole Slowly. in it. And we yeah. got a big hole in one. Yes. They're just doing the uh, preliminary testing. or They were here yesterday doing the preliminary testing on it. And they ha now they have to send those soil samples out. We're expecting them either back today, but probably not till Monday. So he thinks it's clear. He thinks there's nothing nothing else to worry about, but we just got to have them approve it. Is the, the other lot paved now? He said if we wanted to go ahead and do the CSB lot because it would be transporting the equipment twice. Mm -hmm. oh. And so he was holding off on that lot till he got the go on this one again. Otherwise, he said I'd have to charge because that's bringing in the equipment twice. Yeah, that's two. Well, that's what I thought. They're, when they set up to do blacktop, they're going to want to do both at the same time. They're yeah. not going to want to. Just because even if they have a little bit left from one to the other, and, and yeah, they yeah. think we'll have this their resources. stuff tomorrow or Monday. The Monday. results, it'll yeah. either be tomorrow or Monday. Okay. Um, they said uh, uh, Ed from Beck Supply, and I was out there yesterday when they doing it they first they they pulled the tank out it was a 500 gallon tank they uh, siphoned off the nine barrels of water that's sitting beside the building here and the cost of disposing that is going to be a dollar fifty a gallon to dispose of the water mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so they dug around it and then when the uh, people from the Akron the soil testing thing they they did some some preliminary test around the hole and found out there was contaminant further so they had to dig out further and they took further tests and where they got into what they considered the non-hot area mm -hmm. and that's where the size of the hole is now and, and so that was just a preliminary test but it's kind of a good indication yeah. of what it's going to be from there now well, they got to send it out they said they would have the answer back he felt that next Tuesday is when his Tuesday. plan was okay. to come back in and, and if they get the green light from whoever does this testing that they would then fill the hole in. He's getting an estimate right now for the dirt that's out under plastic to get this hauled off these to a qualified landfill where they can dispose of that dirty dirt, I guess, whatever you call it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I mean, that's 
not a good situation, but it was something that just had to be resolved. I mean, my my people estimate, I think, is it's probably going to cost us somewhere in the neighborhood of twenty, thirty thousand dollars. But what it is, what it is, it is. But uh, it's been corrected. Uh, um, go for a minute. Yeah. Can we call uh, Mrs. Schweitzer over the health department? He's being let her know kind of an estimate of when yeah, the lot yeah. will be done. So yeah, I think can, Tanya did that plan. yesterday, but okay. I'll I'll double check. I'll call her just to make sure that okay. she followed the, up with her. Knowing a little bit of, uh, about blacktop and so forth, I would think if if they can get that remediated and take care of by Tuesday, I couldn't imagine that Erie's going to come in on Wednesday because they got scheduling and so forth. Probably going to be the later part of the week. I yeah. would think more realistic would be Thursday or Friday next week before they would come in. They're not going to. They're not sitting there just waiting, waiting for us to give them the go-aheads. They got jobs that they're doing and so forth. And right. that would be my suspicion there. Okay. That's it. Parking lot. Okay. The vacation accrual that you wanted to bring up, different than what we've already had done. Well, um, as you know, we have adopted a vacation accrual policy. And correct me if I'm wrong here. And where this has arisen is now in regional planning and as I investigate a little more of this um, I just think we need to we need to be aware of it the public needs to be aware of it um, is our policy is you can carry over one year mm -hmm. one previous year plus whatever right. vacation you get now mm -hmm. but that's our policy does it necessarily mean that the department heads approve it correct correct so the different departments can do their own but what I understand, and I think we need to make it public, is that our stance is this is what our policy is. This is what we'll pay out of general funds. If they elect to continue on with the old policy, which is continue to accrual vacation in the time of a retirement or someone leaves the county, the county is only going to pay for what our policy is. If they elect to do it any differently, then it has to come out of their funds that additional. I'm assuming that's what the policy change does, because we discussed that when we made that change. Right. Is that we indi that would indicate that if they chose not to follow it, then they're on their own to cover the rest of it. Yeah. yeah. Now, in regional planning's case, because I know that's why this yeah. came up, um, one obviously she transferred into regional planning from another county position, so she had some vacation time that came with her. No. Well, no. That was, she was bought out of that. By the health the, department. And I'm going to get a letter today. Of the, the executive board of regional planning, when they hired the regional planning director, automatically gave her five weeks vacation. Wow. And we have to abide by that. Now, we have now, as now that I'm aware of that, the new executive committee of regional planning, we have to make sure that... And I, and I had sent Aaron, because I asked the auditor's office to verify and, and copy Aaron on it as the chairman of the group. So, because he wouldn't have been chairman when, and we weren't around when mm -hmm. she was brought mm -hmm. in. But so at least he knew what, what paperwork he would need and he wanted, because he asked at that meeting about the county benefits. And so I asked them just, you know, to verify that he would know. So as he's, the committee starting to look and what they're going to offer, that he knows what benefits there are. And I, in that email as well, asked him, and suggested um, after talking to Tanya that as a regional planning board needs to adopt, formally adopt, so it's in their minutes, the county policy handbook, and then this will protect that board from those things. If you don't adopt this, then we can't protect you from what you have to pay and carryovers and that kind of stuff. So that that communications went to Aaron as the chairman. Yeah, absolutely. When I heard Earlier that this week. that we had we have to abide by what our predecessors have um, adopted when they brought that new hire in, um, we just got to change that. According That's, to Diane Kelby, her payout will be out of Fund 057. Out of regional plan. Yes. Yeah, it yes. comes out of regional yeah, planning fund. we don't have to pay on this one yeah. because they're separate. Yeah, yeah. Non, but, not our general revenue. Right. But those that are general revenue funds I just need to make sure that the county heads of those departments realize that if they decide to not abide by our policy that any funds that are needed to take care of, of the retirement are coming out of their funds not out of general funds that's the only way we can 
control it. We can implement the policy, but we can't. We can't force them. Yeah, to yeah. And I, I was unaware of that. I thought that county policy was county policy, no. but I thought each I, individual department. Yeah, I thought I, I said that when we. Were and I'm sure you did. did. I just we didn't talked about that it. at the time we made that change. Okay, I remember okay. us talking about that. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to the new business. We weren't. We were scheduled for one of these hearings at ten fifteen, but I think we'll go through some resolutions before we call Wyandotte County. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. I have a supplement to the permit appropriations for the Seneca County Sewer District one thirty nine, putting thirty nine thousand four hundred dollars and thirty two cents into the transfers outline. I have a supplement to the permit appropriations for the issue one resurfacing program fund 202 putting one million sixty six thousand nine hundred and three dollars and four cents into contract services I have a supplement to the permit appropriations for the revolving loan fund 094 putting two thousand one hundred and sixty one dollars into other expense I have a supplement to the permit appropriations for the Housing Revolving Loan Fund 194, putting $1,100 into other admin expense. I have a supplement to the permit appropriations for the SFY 14 Community Corrections Fund 181, putting $340.18 into supplies. I have a supplement to the permit appropriations for the Clerks Computer Research Fund 148, putting $10,000 into contract services. And other than the ditch stuff, that's all I have. I move we approve. Seconded. I got a motion and a second for the resolutions as read. Any comments or? The, the big one is the township one, the township issue one road project, which is 60% state money and 40% uh, township money. Yeah. Anything else? Not roll call, please. Commissioner Ledger? Yes. Commissioner Zoller? Yes. Commissioner Stacy? Yes. All approved. Um, nothing else for. Oh, Habitat Info you wanted to share. Uh, Joe just wanted me to bring up Joe Swar from Habitat Humanity. Their next extreme build is August the 2nd, and he invited us out to watch that. They'll put up the entire shell of the house in one day. Cool. Did I didn't get an address. I was going to say, if you say where. I think it's in 2nd Avenue, yeah. there, isn't it? Right yeah. across from the old ITT, is okay. where they've been building those lately. Yeah. It's fascinating to, to watch it, how they start from... Well, the foundations <laughs> in to the roof from that yeah. the foundation to the roof in one day. He said the last one they did was in 11 hours. Okay. Their goal was 16, I think, and they did it in 11. Mm -hmm. Hats off to the Home Builders Association. They, uh, you'll see all the Home Builders out, the Home Builders Association out there, and well representative, and find competitors hand in hand with hammers and saws and putting the thing up, and it's, it's kind of neat to see. Will you put that on the calendar? Yep. He said he would send us a, an official. He's pretty sure it's mm -hmm. August 2nd when I talk to him. Uh -huh. okay. But he said he would send us, when it gets closer, he'd send us a actual date. And he thinks that's the date it's going to be. Okay. We have the two ditch hearings to do. I guess we could do uh, general uh, public citizen comments at this time if anybody's got anything before we... At least not that these calls or hearings are lengthy, but <laughs> the second one today will be a the little longer. The second one will be a longer. A little bit longer than the normal. Okay. Go to the order. Okay. All right, we'll put the call into Wyandotte, Wyandotte County. Yeah. The number here. You got it? Yep, she's cheese. Just one nine now. That is yours.
Good morning. I was trying to reach the Wyandotte County Commissioners. Do I have the wrong number? No, we're all in the same office here. Uh, okay. Um, this is Seneca County calling for the ditch hearing with the commissioners. Just a minute. Thank you. Morning. You've got the Seneca County Commissioners here for the hearing. Yes. Hold on a second. Let me get you to the commissioners. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Do we have? I'll put you on speaker. All right. Can you hear us? I can. Can you hear us? Yep, got Steve Seitz here and Bill Klinger. Good morning. Good morning. Good We're all here. We'll we'll proceed with starting this, and our clerk will do the roll call from here. All right. Okay. All right. Commissioner Stacy here. Commissioner Zoller here. Commissioner Wagner here. Commissioner Metzger. Yes. Commissioner Klinger. Absolutely. Commissioner Klinger here. And Commissioner Seitz. Commissioner Seitz? Here. Okay. He's wanting to send here. You, you got to <laughs> This hearing is for the maintenance assessments for collection in 2015 for the Seneca and Wyandotte Joint County Ditches maintained by the Seneca County Ditch Maintenance Program. Um, we motion a second. Okay. I move we accept the, uh, the uh, recommendations, Wagner. We have a motion. Do we have a second from Wyandotte County? I'll, just, I'll second it. Okay, we've got a motion and a second. Any questions, concerns? All right, hearing none, we'll call the roll for the vote, please. Commissioner Wagner? Yes. Commissioner Zoller? Yes. Commissioner Stacy? Yes. Commissioner Seitz? Yes. Commissioner Klinger? Yes. And Commissioner Metzger is out. All right, motion approved. That was pretty painless. Saved us some gas mileage. <laughs> <laughs> that it did. But you come over to Seneca County and spend money whenever you want, all right? Uh, we, we do that occasionally. <laughs> well, that's the problem. You need to do it more frequent. <laughs> I, I hear you, Fred. <laughs> hey, hey, we're over to the steer barn all the time, so at least you can do is reciprocate here. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Have a good day. Well, thank, thank you. Thank thanks, you. guys. Bye. Now, this next one, they're going to be calling us. Sandusky County is calling us. Okay. We are going to be doing our joint. Then they're going to do their joint, our Tri-County with Wood, a hearing, and then we have one with Wood County that Wood's going to do. Okay. So it's going to be... A little bit going on. With that. A little bit going on with that. All right. Yeah. So uh, we have. So when they call in, they're going to call over to Stacy's phone over there, okay. and then we'll just press on, and then pound and zero, and it'll connect all of us. All right. Hopefully. Ho hopefully they'll beam down? us up, and we'll be good. <laughs> well, we did it earlier. Yeah, when and we, and we have a new video. phone system here today, so this is going to be real <laughs> interesting. Yes. We already tested it. We're good. <laughs> We know where they figured it out. Uh, all right. Well, I guess if we have nothing else, that's the last well, remaining thing before we can. Jody. He's, he's <laughs> it's not going to go Jody. Jody. I promise. I don't know the Wood County people. I know the Sandusky yeah, County people. Sandusky, yeah, we know all them. Okay. And I know they were calling Wood County first. They had some business to do with Wood County first. Oh, okay. Any idea how many joint ditch projects do we have? Oh, yeah, a bunch. bunch. 10, 20? I mean, oh. More than that, I would guess. Is it? Because you're Crawford County, you're Wyandotte County, Huron. I mean, well, your four surrounding counties. Yeah. So. We're, we're. Well, how many did we have people here today? Yeah, we did how many the other day? Today with Sandusky, we're doing the Wilbur Bell Ditch, the Big Mud Creek Ditch, the Wagner. Hey, I like the Wagner Ditch. <laughs> <laughs> Bark 
Creek, Bartson, Cheney, Indian. The Stacy group ditch. Where are you? We need a solar group ditch now. No, we don't need no solar. <laughs> I'm in the ditch all the time. So just with Sandusky County, we've got eight of them. Yeah. Are we just going to stay on until they call, or did do you want to recess? We can recess. Okay. Recess. 120. Public comment. We'll have to keep. I asked. There wasn't oh. any. Unless somebody changed their mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> now the, now the recording's off. So <laughs> hold that thought.